Hello, chat. I'm gonna bring Bao on here and then we can explain a little bit of what's going on here because last time we did this uh, was just on Bao's channel. I didn't stream it on my end for whatever reason, but I am gonna bring her in right now, okay? Chat, be polite. Hello? Miss Bao? I couldn't figure out which <gasps> window it was. Oh, <laughs> this. did I scare you? I know. Oh, yeah. Why? 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 <laughs> Why are we Southern? I don't really know. Chat started it and now I can't seem to turn it off. So super quick housekeeping. As far as we know, Vienna is not making it today. She unfortunately has had a kitty emergency, so mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. cannot attend, but she is with us in spirit. So she is a little out of commission right now, which is okay. What are we doing today, Bao? We are doing Cringe Cops episode two. <laughs> We're here, Texan Ranger Juniper and Texan Ranger Bow at your service. <laughs> So what is, what is cringe cops? Basically, past 24 hours, we've had people from my Discord and Bao's Discord submit. You know you know what you, the story you think about when you're laying in bed? It's like 1 a.m., you can't sleep, and then you, and then you think of the thing and you go, oh. You know yep. that? I want to hear when it. When you curl back into your neck like a turtle. We want to hear it. I need, <gasps> I cough it. Cringe. I need the cringe <laughs> with a C-H. We acquire mm. it. You know, um, you know that episode? I'm gonna sound disgusting. You oh, know that yeah. Episode of Rick and Morty in the newest season <laughs> where, Sorry. you know, those like pinhead Larry looking demons from hell that like hang out with Jerry because he's so cringe that it like feeds them. No, I don't watch fucking Rick and Morty. Are you kidding me? What? Okay, well. <laughs> Clearly, I outclass you in IQ, and clearly, mm -hmm. I own an air fryer. My brain is 90,000 times smaller than a human brain. That is anatomically correct. Mm -hmm. God, I have an amalgamation here. It's screwball and Diet Coke. <laughs> um, wait, are you drinking? I didn't know I should be drinking. I could, I, let me get, let me get something. Let me get something. Or every day's a Friday for me, so. You good. are so correct, ma'am. Ain't no way <laughs> am I going through this stream sober. No can do. She, you. Okay, wait, I'm back. About you? what cost. Oh my God, what the hell happened here? Why am I at level five? <laughs> I have the oh, I have the wrong yet. contraceptive. Wait, that is not the correct Ma term. What what is it? A con contraband? Oh. I do, I have the wrong contraband here. Apparently, I meant contraband, not contraceptive. Shut up. Now are you good? Like are you no. just having a drink, right? Yeah, I okay. I swear it's just it's just wine and grape juice. <laughs> wait, wait, Bow. Why are you laughing at me? Bow, are you watering? not you know i, I used to you. be a lightweight too goodbye <laughs> i did not come here to be slandered it's the chat that is to be slandered not me this is unethical and against the law i fight real hard for my country and i won't stand for it ain't this in part of the amendment do not make fun of bow <laughs> I need an IV drip of cringe right now, or else I'm oh, gonna start yeah. tweaking out. Ring. We crave the cring. More okay. crong, please. How this is gonna work, chat, is we're gonna read your stories that have been submitted there anonymously to a Google form. There we're gonna rate them on like a what? One to a hundred of, of Yeah, yeah, we'll do the same cringe. thing as before. And then and then the really, really good ones uh will bring okay. you on on stream and roast you or something. Yeah, we'll we'll <laughs> we'll, we'll beat your ass for free okay who wants to who going first who going first here who's going first oh oh boy i mean why don't you take the honor of picking one and i'll i'll control f and find it <laughs> oh god wait okay uh, oh i'll take happily take the honor all right okay there was a time when i was a, a young lad madly in love 
I know, oh. right? We're off to a great start. Oh, this I lost it. I lost the Southern. You're probably thinking, another sad love story. Well, you're half right. This is indeed a failed love story, but towards the climax of my fantastic fiasco, things went awry, you could say. I oh. love the pros. Okay. I, yeah, I appreciate this uh, lingo you got mm. here. It all started in middle school. I had a really nice girl Name. who was a friend at the time, and my God, I was crushing on her big time. We'll call her Goral. Goral! <laughs> Goral, a beautiful, effeminate name. Uh, we had been friends for a few years at this point, and me being the raging ball of hormones I was, I wanted to be more than friends. So I sit and stew on it for a while, because on top of hormones raging, I was also an anxiety ridden nerd. Eventually I settle on how I'm gonna ask her out. I lit a goddamn trash can on fire and told her my heart hold burns. Uh-huh. Trash can? Uh, Where did they go wrong? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, Am I reading I'm, this I'm correct? Sure, I'm sure they'll explain, right? I lit a goddamn trash can on fire and told her my heart burns brighter for you than this trash can, Goral. Needless to say, Goral did not reciprocate my feelings and she just straight up laughed, spat my literal dumpster fire of a confession, and then ran off to her boyfriend. <laughs> my man, you were chasing a taken woman? Ew. Absolutely <laughs> fumbled. <laughs> A few of my buddies witnessed it and also laughed a bit, but it doesn't end there because the school janitor, who's this big buff dude, comes bounding over like Officer Earl from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs as if I'm Flint Lockwood. He gets over and yells, who the fuck did this? And everyone around me just points at me and I'm escorted to the principal's office and I get suspended for two weeks. I'm lucky I didn't get sent to juvie since no one else got hurt, but now that I look back on it, my punishment should have been far worse. We'll make things ben a bit arson. worse. Is <laughs> when I got back to school and I was nicknamed Dumpster Fire and pretty much all of my friends friends ditched me and to top it up oh. girl went through three boys in my absence and i have no clue where she is now it was kind of Ooh. funny but man i was kind of a stupid kid and yes for legal purposes this is a fabrication <laughs> so okay. wow no 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 okay no 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 how real is this first of all how real is this you can't tell me that you, you can't you cannot your... tell me that all of your friends ditch you because you lit a dumpster on fire as a love confession that is that fucking rules that's your good. parents did not pay for your education for you to think that lighting a dumpster on fire would somehow attract bitches. It would attract this bitch. <laughs> uh, well, you're a mm -hmm. moth. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you <laughs> like a moth to the flame? I'll be honest. This is kind of based. I'm gonna give it like a twenty out of a hundred. I'll give it a. I'll give it a nineteen out of twenty. Oh, the oh. one point is off because I just don't know if I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you pick a more believable one then. A morb believable one? <laughs> I love how you just become the grudge. <laughs> well, I found it. It's a uh, hold on. Now mm -hmm. hold on a damn moment. They refer to themselves as pony fucker. Now if you control <gasps> no. F and look up pony fucker with no spaces, I assure you, you will find this entry. All right, can't relate. Never no. been there. Anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, pony fucker here again. Mm -hmm. And if you think my horrific cringe that was trying to date a Tumblr girl was bad, I have more. Wait, hold on a second. Pony fucker. Is this the guy that like told a girl to come over and showed her oh my, god. my little pony? Oh like, my god. It, 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 was the, art? The, or, or was it the person that made their date watch Sword Art Online abridged? I think that was the one. <gasps> I, I am. I think my this man. is the one. No. Okay, just... we have to. We have to go. I need this. I need this in my IV drip right now, Bauer. I'm gonna freak. He's out. gonna OD on copium. We. I'm a little concerned. Well, <clears throat> here we go. <laughs> Welcome back, pony fucker. We missed you and your shenanigans. After high school, I moved out to live with my friends for a little while. Life was pretty chill. I also learned how viscerally cringe I was. One of my favorite anime is Monster Musume. Now you could have just ended it there, but I appreciate you <laughs> continuing hey! the entry. I can leave if you want me to, damn. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. 
this is messed up, bro. Anyways, life was pretty chill. I was also trying to start working out. Imagine my friend's GF surprise to wake up to me using the rowing machine while watching my limited edition box set of Monster Musume on the living room TV. I wasn't phased, thinking I was a normal, well-adjusted individual and said good morning. Then the monster girl started moaning. My brain went from zero to a hundred, realizing I was watching what was basically softcore porn on an 85-inch flat screen. In that moment, I realized, huh. Maybe my taste in anime is a hmm. bit much. She didn't talk to me for a few days after that one. You guys don't watch softcore porn with your friends? True. I started watching high school DXD with my friend group. <laughs> I watched interspecies reviewers with like a group of seven. Yo? All I'm, all I'm saying show. is that this isn't that weird, right? Right, chat? This, this isn't, isn't that isn't weird. that weird. It's not like that weird. all of your friends were in on it. But like you just having to, I guess, raw dog this, this form of media to a complete normie mm -hmm. kind of tells you, kind of tells me that you're not as well adjusted as you thought you were. <laughs> My chat is saying that the girl is cringe in this situation. And I kind of agree. Like, okay, she, you can just she, go to a movie just, theater. Up. You, <laughs> you just can, showed up! You could just go to a movie theater and watch softcore cringe. I mean, porn. F softcore cringe featuring Bao and Juniper. You can you can sit down with your parents and watch Netflix, and there's gonna be just a a gruelingly long sex scene in it. That's true. I watched uh, Deadpool one with my dad, and then that peg scene happened, and no one could have prepared <laughs> me for the way that my dad reacted. Uh, Anyways. you know what? This is a uh, this is not that bad. If you like, if you're watching Netflix, it's, it's gonna bad, be a sex honestly. scene. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is cringe. You should watch High yeah. School DxD with your girlfriend. You guys will bond over it. It'll be fucking awesome. Very true. Very or you true. should just watch like a horrifically traumatizing hentai. <laughs> let me okay. let me pick a new one. All right, next entry. Okay. Juniper, take it away. <gasps> well, I keep this short and for legal purposes, this is a fabrication. I once met a girl who was mute online. We became friends with one another and she even started the weird habit of calling me Oni-chan. No, there's no way. Okay, hold on. I'll Straight keep reading to jail. It. Officer, <laughs> that's him. That's the man. I saw him. I'm calling the fucking police right now. Uh, I think we are the police. Oh, yeah. Huh. Do you, do you have a license to kill people? <laughs> license to shill? Juniper Actius on <gasps> Twitch. Hello. Hi, my name is what? Juniper Actius. All right. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. <laughs> and if you haven't, you're cringe. All right. Uh, she started the weird habit of calling me Oni-chan. And I went with it and called her Oni-chan as well, even though we never <gasps> went into... Even though we never went into any kind of relationship behind it, besides playing games with one another, one another, I never met her or seen her face. But I was kind of down bad, so that shit all went on for about two years. Where I made art for her, teach her games, basically was a maid for her, and my stupid ass never questioned it. So one day she just said, "Fuck it, I don't want you anymore," and left. Broke my heart at first, but later I realized I'd been catfished for eternity. This may be more sad than cringe, but whatever. Have a laugh on my behalf. <laughs> Hey, Val, have you seen that meme where it's like the two neck beards that are like typing at their computers being like, ooh, ooh, blushes, oh, neat <laughs> This makes me, like, <laughs> this makes the fish hurt. This hurts the fish. <clears throat> My abdomen is squirming uncomfortably. This is... Surely there's like... I don't really like... know what to say. Why was there just no questioning at any point in this relationship? <laughs> I, I don't get it either. <laughs> Did you ever think it was like a little suspicious? <clears throat> Did you ever like... voice call? Oh, she was mute online, so no. Yeah, so Not no. I wonder, hey chat, how many of you guys have rough, like buddy. just fucked around and like pretended to be a girl online? Tell me about it. Because back when I was a kid, I played like a little bit of Club Penguin and I, uh -huh. I, have, I made like a boy sounding username and I dressed up like a boy uh, and I would I would ask girls on dates and take them to my my uh, my house. It, it, like I never- house. <laughs> My igloo. Yeah, I couldn't think of the word. I was like, iceberg? Like, I was never mean to them or anything. I just liked lying. I just wanted to lie to them. <laughs> 
Are you Patrick Bateman by any chance? If so, please slide in my DMs. I'm like one snapped thread away. <laughs> yeah, I catfish people as tapes. a boy. <laughs> I think the only time I do that is when I play Valorant. I just don't want to be hate crimed. So mm -hmm. I usually just like, <laughs> I, I like play it up in chat. Like I'll type in, I'm like, hey, no problem, man. Hey, GG, man. I like to make my usernames nice shit, shot, like, baby boy. <laughs> shit like, like trucks and reps. <laughs> I fucking love trucks. I would stick my pee pee in a muffler and turn the car on. <laughs> Someone yeah. asked, who is the cringe and who is the cop? That's a good question. I have a lot of cringe certification on me. I, I've sort of been all around the bend, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I have experienced Public and engaged knowledge. in many, many, many forms of cringe. You can kind of smell it, honestly, at this point. <laughs> what? This um, is very sorry. Clean. Hold on. Hold on. Rewind a second. Yeah, these yeah, two yeah, these two fucking e-daters called themselves Onichan and Onechan. Oh, yeah, One to a hundred. We never touched base on that. Okay, okay. That's a solid fucking 90 for me, Captain. What do you think, Bao? 90 out of 100? Make a 96. 96. But they never like. I, I think I. Hmm. It needs a little bit more for me. I only picked a 96 because it's funny. <laughs> All right, I guess it's my turn now. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw the word horse, and <gasps> I don't know why, but it. Are we it going kind in? Of, we're going in. We're going in. We're, we're going all the way in. Mm -hmm. Here I go. It was me and my family going to a relative's fifteenth, which is when the respective family member, most likely a girl, turns fifteen. Keep this in mind. I had no idea. My dad just said, "Get your ass dressed, and we're going somewhere." So we arrive mm -hmm. at the venue. It's open air next to horse stalls. Mm -hmm. We get there just in time for the main dance where the, all the guys and girls put in four plus weeks remembering front, back, right, left choreography. This is usually where the quinceanera has to change from a poofy dress to something more flexible to be able to dance. Anyway, they dance, dance, and dance until they stop. And then she dances with her parents after this. It's usually when they put a sash on her and people walk up and give their money and put it in the sash so everyone one is going up and then my mom gives me a five. I pocket the five and she tells me it's for me to go put in her sash. So I wait until my turn. What? We're still dancing only a little bit mm. after I put the money on her and the whole gist of it is to keep going until the music stops and the final one is the longest. Basically we were talking. Oh yeah, so now he's, he's walked up to her I think and now is engaging in conversation. He's asking her about her day and how she was liking the party. And then by before the end of the song, I tell her, can I get your Snapchat or phone number? You're really cute. And then she says, yeah, let me get my phone and meet and you can meet me by the front of the horse stalls. I'm walking back to where my parents were, acting like horse? the shit because I'm just about to get her snap just to hear my mom. So what do you think of your cousin? <laughs> No, 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 <laughs> absolutely not. Okay, for the sake of the story, I'm going to assume that this guy is around this girl's age. I don't think 15, people would. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I truly hope so. Bro, <laughs> that's Damn. fucked up, man. Sweet home Alabama. This is why you need to disclose that sh as soon as possible. This is just, this is how. <laughs> How could you have missed this this crucial information? <laughs> Did your parents just not tell you? Yeah, somebody in my chat was like, "How do you how do you not know who your cousin is?" I don't know. Maybe other people have like really big families, and it's hard to keep track of everyone. Because I, I can name uh, all of my relatives by name. Is that unusual? <laughs> His parents were trolling well, him. Well, maybe they should start keeping track since they seem to <laughs> have a little trouble with that. <laughs> <laughs> Almost incest out of a hundred. Almost incest out of a hundred. <laughs> That's yeah, a yeah, solid a oversight. Mm, True. A solid ninety-eight for me. Just beautiful. I don't think it's unusual. Okay, what are you saying that to? The them having a large family and not being able to or keep not, track, not knowing or their them cousins. going for their cousin. Which is the unusual part? It's definitely not the first time I've heard of that happening. Not like directly by someone I know, but like you know, people online will be like, "Oh, f I found out that I was dating like my 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 cousin from this fucking oh! guy that we never talk about." You know? I hope to God that never happens to me. <laughs>
Well, congratulations. Yeah, congrats, I guess. I hope you got something out of that. <laughs> but hopefully a lesson. I hope this guy goes to every date uh, ever after this point and opens it with, by the way, are we related? Can I get, can Just I get our sure. 20, what, what is it, 23 and me results, 23 please? 23 and me. Just slap those down on the table with uh, your resume and then we can get started. Almost a Raymo out of 10, mm. I say. Hey, cuz, can I get that snap? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, did I tell you about my coworker who's like a pathological liar? Uh, and one time, one time he was like, oh my god, uh, my cousin just matched with me on Snapchat. I mean, a Snapchat, um. Tinder. And I messaged her and I was like, yo, what the fuck? Why did you match with me? And she said it was a mistake. And I looked at him and I was like, hey, hey buddy, you know that means you had to have matched with her, right? And then of course he's a fucking pathological liar. So he changed his story. He was like, oh no, I mean, um, um, I mean, I saw her on Tinder. And then I messaged her on Facebook. I'm like this. All right, buddy. Okay. Okay, buddy. Right. Well, now your story isn't funny anymore, dumbass. Okay. Part of me wish the horse stalls played a, a bigger part in the story. Yeah, but me too. Yeah. Still pretty good. I was expecting some more haunts. I, I was expecting some horse action. <laughs> Next. <laughs> um. Anyways. For legal purposes, this is a fabrication. There was a time my family took us on a trip to Yellowstone one summer about 12 years ago. Outside of one town, we stayed in what was a wildlife reserve which ran next to a road. On our way out of the town, we see a lot of cars stop by the road and stop as well. They were watching a moose, which was right on the other side of an eight foot tall chicken wire fence. However, there was another attraction next to the moose. Some dumbass woman screaming about how the moose was starving and couldn't swim back through the Marsh it had crossed. By the way, moose are uh, able to swim very well. She was very close to the moose and was throwing weeds she had pulled out of the ditch over the fence at the moose. Luckily, the adults decided we should leave before we watched a clearly pissed moose maul a woman. On the same trip, we oh. also saw a family chase a grizzly bear on foot with their toddlers following them at the same time. Okay, so this is fun because the cringe Whoa. the cringe is something they witnessed, which was True. a woman who was clearly I see <laughs> she the was not mentally there. I see I see what I see what she was thinking. You know, um it ended in her demise. Dude, moose are sturdy. The they vision. beat the fence. Fuck it. Yeah, she was a local, little <laughs> <laughs> local Haruka abused by a Karen. <laughs> Stop throwing weeds at me, the fuck? Dude, <laughs> you okay. Hit that toad. <laughs> Imagine approaching a moose in the first place. Yeah, Jesus Christ. That's Aren't so, there taller than that like is semi super, or something? super, super fucking dangerous. Moose will uh, fuck your entire Blitter shit you. up. Yeah, they will Quite literally uh, you. grind you into paste. <laughs> I mean, I, I know they're herbivores and all, but mm. do you really want to risk it all for a moose? Oh, but they're mad herbivores. They like to protect themselves and their kids. This isn't really, I guess, what we were looking for, but yeah, it, but it is very cringe uh, for that woman. Uh, so I'm going to assume this is being told by like, I don't know, one of her kids, in which case I would give this an easy like 99 out of 100. True. Mm -hmm. I was I was kind of looking for that like sort of feeling, but you know, I honestly will give this a 10. I just don't <laughs> see any cringe in this. Oh, it is your oh, turn. Oh, is it my turn? It is your turn. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. This is really long. Okay, oh, all right, I'm good? gonna read this. It, it might be. I'm gonna, I skimmed it. I'm gonna invest in it. This, nevertheless, is a tale that has me curling up in pain upon entering my conscious thought like a shrimp boiling in a pot of bad decisions. <gasps> Like many others, I was pretty into Minecraft when I was younger and spent much time modding, editing item IDs, mm -hmm, and messing mm -hmm. with redstone. For the unfamiliar, think of it as Minecraft's version of electronic circuits. Now, in eighth grade, most of my classmates didn't seem to be very into Minecraft, and its popularity seemed to be in recess. Effectively, Minecraft was not cool. Mm -hmm, One day, mm -hmm. whilst I was in this larval state of eighth grade, my science teacher, a generally <laughs> friendly man, <laughs> has to be one of mine. <laughs> juniper, <laughs> juniper watcher, average, <clears throat> uh, generally friendly man 
who also seemed to desperately want to deny the theory of evolution, had given us a test to complete and I had completed it. I turned it in and saw that a few other students who had finished had their smartphones out, so I followed suit with my electronic blue slidey phone that I shared with my siblings. Mm -hmm. I played some Tetris for a while before ultimately deciding I wanted to look at some monster spawn rules for Minecraft to see if I could make a redstone monster spawning device. Now, at this point, I'm happily reading descriptions of light levels and open space, not paying attention to anything around me, smiling. This is when the cringe begins. Suddenly, the teacher mm -hmm, yells, mm -hmm. Hey! For the purposes of the story, my name shall be Mark. Mark! Startled, I look up. What are you it's doing with name. your phone? What are you looking at? Now, recall, Minecraft's popularity was in a recess. And add to it the fact that I was both the Asian kid and weird kid that was one step away from becoming the oh, weird kid. No. Obviously, my only option was to lie, right? I said I, we had an art project where we had to make a collage true. So I was looking up pictures false with a flushed face and stammering tongue. You see, at this point, I had not yet gained the enlightened knowledge of the fact that literally no one cares if you don't make it weird. Ever more suspicious and reasonably so, my, my teacher approaches me and as he does, I turn off my phone in a panic. Whatever would I do if he looked at what I was reading and asked me what it was? Did I just state that I was reading the Minecraft wiki in front of all my peers? Upon reaching my seat, he took my phone and said I could get it back at the end of the day. For the remainder of class, I sat there doodling boxes of apple juice. Still my go-to doodle. What? Why? <laughs> the cringe, however, mm. does not end there, nor oh, oh, is okay. at the height of it. After all, all that, though slightly embarrassing, that was just an innocent attempt at defending my status. As the bell rang, I left the classroom, but my, my classmates were drawing closer to me than usual. They wanted to know if I was really doing it. It? I asked, unable to pick up social cues as I was. You know, were you really looking at graphic adult imagery in class? Appalled that these people actually thought I would do such a thing on the phone I shared with my siblings, I retorted, what? No way! Indeed, I had my DSi and its terrible web browser for that. Oh, they remarked uninterestedly. So what were you doing then? I froze. Just I be honest, them, please! If I admit, admitted to them here that I was looking at Minecraft wiki, at the monster spawn rules for a game made for toddlers, I would be subjecting myself to endless torture for the next hour at least. I, I was I was I was looking at pictures. I exclaimed red faced once more. I, I really was. They were suspicious, but I defended myself vigorously, eventually just diminishing their suspicions despite my racing heart rate. This occurred once more during lunch where my answer was more practice, calling out the teacher's bullshit for taking my phone, which I was using for a school project, no less unjustly and inciting the dissatisfaction others already had against him from when they took away their phones. Once more at the dismissal, I denied the allegations against me, refusing to admit the truth of the matter. As the bell rang, I felt a kinship to the biblical Peter, having denied my Jesus for the third time. I went to pick up my phone. The teacher told me to unlock it. I denied. He sighed, telling me to be careful what I look at in class. I felt a sense of accomplishment within what me for what I had done that day. I defended my dignity as a closeted Minecraft nerd, and all it cost was for everyone to think I was really looking at porn that day, and that porn I was looking at was either graphic or weird enough for me to, for me to aggressively defend myself repeatedly throughout the day. You know what? I think there's a moral here somewhere. Like, I'm having trouble working out what it is, but there's like, every once in a while, I'll be talking about something on stream, and I'll just be like, mm, no, actually, uh, I don't, I, I don't want to finish that story. Not because it's bad, but because it's like too personal, you know? I get it. <laughs> I think the moral here <laughs> is that if you're not honest, everybody's going to assume something so much worse. <laughs> this is true. I, that bingo. You know, I think there, there's like layers of complexity in this one, which is fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give it like an 80 out of 100. I'll give it a 50. I'll be bad cop today. Let me find one. For legal purposes, this is a fabrication. So back in high school, a bunch of us were on a bus ride back from a presidential campaign rally. We went with our US government class because the president rarely shows up where I live. So it was a rare opportunity. It was dark mm. on the bus. I was sitting next to this mm. girl and she started to get sleepy. She dozed mm. off a bit. And when she did, mm. she fell onto my shoulder. Looking around at the others oh. on the bus, some were okay. snuggling. So I thought, why not? And I put my oh. arm around her. At that moment, I got a waft of a... <laughs> my no. man, you can't do this! At that moment, hey. I got a waft of a delightful scent from her, but I wasn't sure what Now it hold was. on a second. <laughs> now the... hold on a damn you can't second. Do this, man. Whether Maybe. it was shampoo, perfume, or something else. So not really thinking anything of it, I leaned in and took a big whiff of her hair. <gasps> Strawberry oh coconut. God. 
This, in air quotes, woke her up as she was not actually asleep, but was pretending so she could cuddle. She was so creeped out she changed seats and didn't talk to me again until after graduation. What made this worse was that several people on the bus saw what I did. To this day, over 10 years later, I see one of the people from the bus ride almost weekly. He's my local butcher. He brought this up a few weeks ago, calling me the sniffer. Still not as bad as Junie being called kissy girl, though. Bro, you can't, you cannot, you can't. Yeah, you fuck, can't bring her down with you, you. You can't fucking do that, man. You fucking, you fucking <laughs> smelled a sleeping <laughs> woman <laughs> on a train. <laughs> you fucking weirdo. <laughs> Yeah. This is the time where you change your identity and leave the country. Well, absolute sniffa, sniffa. reptile oh, wait, wait, ape brain took over and he t Damn, he kind of fucking fumbled. He should have just like allowed, just didn't do anything. And then like, could have got the dub. But instead, <laughs> he, had to, he had to get a little too close to the sun. That's a pretty good cringe story. That's I'm gonna give it good. an 80. Yeah, that, that's a good 80 for me. I'm sure people are wondering why they ended this with not as bad as Judy being called kissy girl though. Would you like to know the context or why people from elementary school referred to me as kissy girl? I'm pretty intrigued. Okay. And I think my chat is too. Okay, chat, don't cancel me. I was like eight or nine, okay? So. Cancel her. <laughs> do She's not. Go. Do, I was like eight or nine. It's normal for kids to like do stupid shit. I was still, you know, I was still sort of feeling out my environment. And I figured out that if I threatened boys that I was gonna kiss them, they would get um? really, really scared and run away away from me. So I did it a lot and I got sent to the principal's office oh <laughs> because I thought it was so funny. <laughs> oh my god, you're a serial kisser. Mm -hmm. I was a loose cannon. I was catfishing people on Club Penguin. I was... <laughs> I was threatening boys. I was getting in trouble. I was going to the pol uh, the principal's office actually uh, fairly often. I feel like these are clear signs of mm. serial killerfication. Let's see. Mmm. All right. Mm. TLDR at the end if this is too long for you, but it's a good one in my opinion. Okay? Okay. I like that they okay, prefaced okay. with All that. Right. So obviously, for legal purposes, this story is a fabrication. Maybe it's even a figment of your imagination. But anyways, one day I was cruising down the streets of my small, I'm not gonna say where, town with a car full of my three friends and one friend's sister. It was a nice summer night and we had just had a wonderful time bowling and now we were screaming our hearts out to some sick tunes. All mm. was well mm, sounds good however that all changed when the fire nation attacked all of a sudden my stomach made an ungodly sound oh, and i no. knew it was now or never no, no, and no. i needed to make a pit stop and unload on some poor business's toilet so being blank i started fucking chewing my nails as soon as they said that <laughs> oh god okay 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 so they're they're entering a restaurant and they whipped the car into the parking lot, threw it in park, and beelined it to the bathroom. And the lady is working, called out to me that I couldn't go in without purchasing. Oh, but fuck I gave those no, people. <laughs> but I gave no shit. Figuratively speaking, of course, I gave them lots of literal shit. I spent the next 35 minutes astronomically fucking this toilet up. And the whole time, I heard the employees outside nervous that I was still in there and preparing to call the police because they <laughs> believed I was planning something sinister. <laughs> I finally finished. Mm. And of course, their cheap ass toilet couldn't handle what I gave it. So it was clogged and ready to overflow. But this oh not my being gosh. my first rodeo, I was prepared to dart out of there when the damn security guard who drives around from place to place showed up and they sent him in. He told me I needed to deal with it. And I ran out of there with Paul Sharp slow ass trying to chase me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All 
all they saw was my ass and elbows hauling ass out of there as they yelled at me that I'm an asshole and I was now banned. Little do they know I have IBS and this embarrassingly happens a lot. In my head, of course, because for legal purposes, this is a fabrication, it's fiction, false. Please don't come for me, Tim Hortons. Do, okay, for real though, if I was in your situation, I would hit as many places as I can that put the like, cannot use bathroom if you are not customer signed. Like, we just gotta, you and I just gotta go around and hit all those places and, and, and shit bomb them and wheel out, okay? <laughs> this one's like a hundred, bro. You, yeah, they okay. They got the whole fucking, they got pulse shard on their asses. They're fu <laughs> those poor, poor, like, cashiers not making enough, enough money thinking they're about to be murdered. Dude, imagine, the toilet. <laughs> imagine fighting for your fucking life on a toilet while security guards are trying to break in. This sounds like a walking nightmare. I think wow. I think it would have pushed it to a hundred for me if they hadn't made it to the toilets. The way it stands, I'd give it a ninety-nine though. I'm sure they've so, done it before. Sounds Maybe like just a not horrible experience, story. and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry for for everyone in this story. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Paul Shark. Thanks for, for sharing, for your entry. but also Thanks sorry. I sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's see. Let me find a good one. Back in elementary school during recess, someone I know showed me something in his palm. A bee that had stung him. I stared at it in despair. That's all I remember. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What's going on? <laughs> No, that's not even cringe. Are, are you guys reading the prom? Are you guys reading the prom? <laughs> After burp. Oh yeah, do it. Excuse me. Nice, thank you. Oh Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> okay, well. <clears throat> So when I was around nine or ten years old, I was into this girl in my class mm -hmm, who I wanted to naturally. go on a date with. One day, I asked her if we were friends, and she said, "Yeah." So naturally, I thought this was a step in the right direction to try and date her. Mm. So to set the scene, my class had ended for the day. My class would then line up by the door and then leave our classroom. So just before we all left class that day, I got down on one knee and asked the girl if she wanted to go out on a date with me. But no! She said no. Because you got scene. down on one knee to ask to go on a date. You're coming on a little strong, buddy. But then I went, okay. I'll just shake it off. And then proceeded to ask almost every girl in my class out in the same way. No! So, after this entire spectacle, I had gotten down on one knee 15 times and asked 15 girls out and they all said no. I would never live this down for the rest of the school year and it was the most embarrassing thing in my life for a very long time. You can't do that, buddy. <laughs> You can't do that! Ah, okay. uh, yes, the old public spectacle guilt trip trick. I'm, I'm gonna give this guy the benefit of the doubt because I, I think he needs it. And assume that he was just trying to be, like, wholesome and gentlemanly. You know, which is sweet. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't, wouldn't have done the knee thing, and definitely not to probably a bunch of girls you've never spoken to before. <laughs> Someone said, "Is this guy Brock from Pokemon?" <laughs> All right, here is a relatively short one. For legal purposes, this is a fabrication. So this was back in sixth grade or so. There was an up and coming YouTuber in our country named Just Vidman. He became very popular among our friend group and we talked about his videos a lot. Until that point, I hadn't heard of him. So I somehow misheard it as Justin Bieber. <laughs> Anytime I made comments about how I like his stuff, I got really weird looks and I didn't get why. Nobody ever told me that I was talking nonsense and only realized it a year or so later. <laughs> I love that. No, this is wholesome because I used to do the same shit. When I was a kid, I thought hooking up meant going to hang out with someone. So I would be like, hey, mom, can I go like, like hook up with like one of my friends later? And she'd be like, uh -huh. yeah, sure. Cause you know, kid, obviously I didn't know. I also, this is really embarrassing. So cold sore is a herpes thing, right? Cause I'm not a hundred. Yes. Okay, all right. When I was a kid, I thought a cold sore was just any sore on your mouth. So oh. like, you know, you know, you would get like chapped lips or maybe you would like pick at them. And, and I mentioned one time, like during like school lunch, I was like, oh God, I have like a cold sore today. And one of my friends was like, aren't you a little young for that? 
And I was like, what? What? I didn't figure it out until so much. <laughs> Well, that was unfair. Oh, Juniper. I know. You're so naive, but also so psychopathic. It's hard I, to tell which very, one is which. I was very naive. I was a little bit of a late bloomer. That's okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm glad that you bloomed into a person and not serial killer. <laughs> Ah, thank you. Y you know, you're so encouraging, Bao. I'll make sure to cross you off so the nice. list. Oh, there's a list! That's wonderful! She's just uh, so good at organizing. What were we talking about? Okay, well, I have a talk. I will talk to my lawyer uh, uh, later today. It's, it's about time I am. Um... Oh, you have a lawyer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should yeah, introduce yeah. us. Oh, oh, you, you, I don't think you No, like I studied he's law. A, I studied law. I a... love talking to lawyers. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know a lot about the law, so you could mm. probably just get away with it if you killed me. Okay, all right, got it. Noted, noted, I mean, noted, all noted. it takes is one little misstep by the police, and any criminal can get off with basically anything. I I love that for, for us. Um... Anyways, hey. Yeah? I need uh, that IV drip of cringe. Oh, well, say no more. <clears throat> For I have found the perfect one. I'm picking this based off of the title, My Friend the Desperate Incel Man. Oh. It sounds like a fucked up fairy tale, but, you know, probably not. Okay. You can only wish it was. I'm, I'm <laughs> nervous. Let's go. My friend that I knew in high school, and overall, he was pretty cool. However, when we were in college, hanging around with him 24-7 made me realize that he had a superiority complex and ego that made most of my friends hate him. Mm -hmm. He would do act mm -hmm. random acts of kindness that were pretty basic, like opening doors, holding stuff for people, mm -hmm. girls, suck up, etc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. However, he was an asshole in every other situation. He would pretty much rage and stroke his ego in any sort of competition, like video games, sports and would always one up someone in the conversation he also peer pressure people to do stuff one of his favorite videos was girl chan in paradise by ego raptor and forced his roommate to memorize every line of the episode this is somehow an important detail later in the story uh okay <laughs> anyways one day i was walking to the food court with him after a nice workout and we were just talking about random shit however it slowly devolved into a pity conversation of him not having a girlfriend he basically did not understand how he wasn't able to get a girlfriend he just said the basics feel like oh i am so nice to people i hold open doors and carry ho heavy objects mm -hmm. for people mm -hmm. am overall nice all i could really do was be a brick wall and just nod my head and say mm, yes oh and stroked his ego he also planned moving to the dorm with the most girls living in it to up his chances, I guess. <sighs> Fast forward two years later, I lived in the same room as him, and he basically hogs the living space area, still raging and one-upping people, and also never flushing his pee. He did manage to get a girlfriend, though. His girlfriend was this freshman, and he would try to get it on with her, but she never seemed comfortable doing it. Eventually, she broke up with him, and he was fucking devastated. I just walked in class one day, and I just see him in the main living room quarters watching Girl Chan in Paradise as he was reciting each line perfectly in a slow, <laughs> mo monotonous fuck? voice. I was in awe and kind of in horror as to what I was seeing. Like, imagine you walking into a room and someone was just reciting every single line of the fucking room by Tommy Wiseau or some shit in that voice. I just fucking walked in my room, pretended like this wasn't sociopathic behavior. Being the snooper that I am, I eventually found out that his girlfriend broke up with him and asked her for some juicy deeds, but she didn't want to share. The scary part is she told Incel Man that I was asking around for details, but luckily for me, he just thought I was looking out for him and trying to cheer him up. I love, okay. I love, first of all, I love that you took this as an opportunity to vent about your shitty roommate. I think that's incredibly based of you and I would do <laughs> yeah. the same thing in your situation. <laughs> I would do the same fucking thing. I think I will blast this man to like, 2,000 people actually. Man, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what to say. I, I feel like, I feel like anything that I could say has already been said ab about people like this. It's really not that complicated, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this one, this one kind of, I don't know, man, kind of bums me out. <laughs> in a way. Yeah, Just I kind of like, get it. Damn, damn, he didn't didn't seem to adjust very well. He doesn't flush his pee. Hell. This one kind of bums me out. Well, huh. We can only now hope what? that 
Maybe maybe one day uh, he'll watch like a good anime and maybe that'll fix him. Yeah, this one kind of this was a painful yeah, cringe. It was yeah. a sad cringe. Yeah, I got to give it like a 70 out of 100. Yeah, 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 for sure. If this was you though, if this was like you from your perspective, like, oh, I used to be this guy back in college, uh, but I'm not that guy anymore. That would crank it all the way up to like a 99 out of 100 for me. I think so too. Mm, mm. Perspective. Mm. I think it's cringier when it's yourself exactly. versus another person. Because because it's like it's like empathetic cringe it's like here is a, a part of my soul that i deeply regret rest your gaze upon it and cringe <laughs> All right, let me find one. One time way back in middle school, I was out shopping with my mom. I just witnessed one of the early game theory videos about real life power armor. And I'd become obsessed with the idea of having a set of this ballistic combat armor called the Trojan. At the time, um? I had no idea this name was already being used by another company for a very different sort of product. Yeah. I decided while we were at the register paying for my stuff that it was the best time to ask my mom if I could get a Trojan for my birthday in front of the cashier. Oh no! And like five other moms also doing some shopping. She explained to me one, uh, what I had said once I got to the car and I haven't stopped cringing since. No, I love this. This is so human. This is like me this telling is... my mom asking if I can go hook up with some of my friends later. Like we're just, just, we're so just innocent, kids. We're just know? kids, man. We just hear words that adults throw around and we don't assume anything you know how could they have known how could they have known yeah that this is adorable uh i think so too 60 70 70 out of 100 yeah i i would say so around there mm, mm, pretty painful let's see oh god okay 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 here we go. This happened about a year ago. Mm. Oh, so that's pretty recent. A lot of the stories here have been like five years plus probably. So nice. I was taking a friend home that I invited over for dinner at my parents' house. I had a crush on this girl and she knew, she knew that, but our relationship was a bit complicated. I could never tell if she liked me back because of the massive amounts of mixed signals she gave. Oh. We got talking on the topic of digital artists and she had mentioned something about furry artists. I had said that I really like furry artists since most most of them that I met are really skilled artists and extremely kind people. She pauses for a second and says, Wait, are you a furry? I was nervous, but I said that, yeah, I really have met a lot of friendly people and I really like anthro designs, but I don't have an OC or a fursuit or anything like that. I just enjoy furry art. This is where she starts acting really weird. She starts to twirl her hair, looking down like she's shy and starts to smile. I'm thinking she thinks it was awkward to tell her until she hits me with the line, you know, I've never met a furry in real life before. At this point, I am just hoping and praying that I'm not misreading they, the situation. Are they Move on to other topics. Eventually, we get to flirting a bit, and before she gets out of the car, she turns to me and goes, I'm glad you told me about you being a furry. I've been thinking if I could do a little experiment and start... It starts with a P, and it ends with a G. You. What? <gasps> no. 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 <laughs> wow. Whoa, oh she really my. went for it. Whoa! She shuts the door. I didn't even know what to say. I just stood there in shock. Uh -huh. I was conflicted of how to feel about it for the next few weeks before I moved away until she let it slip that the only reason she wanted to do it was because she thought I was gay and when she first met me and wanted to see if I would turn gay after. Oh. What? <laughs> what? Is that it? I'm just wondering hmm. what? Wow. There's a lot to unpack here. Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month, everybody. <laughs> Damn, she tried to fix her, I guess. Huh. How does that... How do My furries is, flirt? Like, in... Is this like in a normal world? thing? Like, do they, do they approach other people and be like, Hey, yo, you... <laughs> you want to bust down in a dog suit? <laughs> no! I just never ever want to hear you, that sentence used. Seriously? Do you want to see my my sexy honey badger persona? I. <laughs> the way that mm. the person who wrote this moved away mm. after the incident. <laughs> yeah. They just. Well, um, thanks for that. I, I guess. don't. I don't really know. I just. I don't. 
I, f- I feel a little speechless, to be honest. There's a I lot. Think- I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be judging here. Was it the liking furry artists? Okay, can't blame you. I like a few furry artists myself. I think B Stars was a good show. Uh, yeah, Bao. Yeah, we know. We know. Backs. You don't even need to say it. We know, Bao. Don't worry. <laughs> we know. Don't worry. Cat <laughs> is just doing the introduction for me. I will leave it there. Hey, it's okay, Bao. We already know. But that, like, you, you didn't ever do anything. Like, you didn't go Who, through me? with. No, 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 no. This, this, um, oh. this, uh, Anon didn't really go through with it. So for me, that's kind of not. Nah, this is like a twenty out of a hundred for me. To be honest, I would have. I would have. I would have. You would have. <laughs> All right. Might have. All right. I, I think I might have. Receiving or? <laughs> Don't you fucking wink at me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fucking wink at me, you dirty whale. <laughs> I don't, okay, before we move on, a uh, rough yeah. score, even though this one, there, there's kind of a lot to unpack here. I would say a 50, because all yep. that really happened was you admitting that you're a furry. Yeah, and then some chick said she wanted to peg you, but also, yeah, like, she, but also, like, that, that that's on her, not you. True, 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 true. And hey, I'll just give it a 50. And there, ain't, there ain't nothing wrong with that. When I was a kid, I didn't like going to school, so obviously I tried my best to find a way not to go. But the only thing that reliably worked was being sick. With the infinite wisdom someone aged 15 had, I started faking it whenever I didn't- Why are you so close to me? Who, me? Yeah. Sorry, I got a little flustered. I started faking it whenever I didn't want to go. I just happened to have the most- Huh? <clears throat> um... Do you, do you, you want okay? me to- Do you want me to order takeout? You're, you're not muted, by the way. <laughs> oh, oops. Um, I happen to have the most major headache ever. I thought nothing of it, but my parents were very concerned to the point of dragging me to a doctor every time and me eventually getting an MRI scan. I didn't, I didn't realize it at the time, but my parents and doctor were thinking I could have a brain tumor. Looking no! back, this is probably the dumbest shit I ever did. This is a fucking nightmare. Oh my god. Do you know how fucking expensive MRIs are? Oh my god. Fuck. The absolute- Holy shit. Imagine- Oh my god. Oh my god. Your parents actually might have literally thought you had a terminal illness. This is an easy 100 for me. (laughs) Holy shit. This is something I would think about in the moment before I fall asleep that immediately jerks me awake. Like, hey, remember that super, super fucked up thing you did. Imagine how much money your my, my, my parents spent on my dumb ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm roasting you a little hard, uh, but- Oh my god, oh, um... Uh, and, um, the, uh, uh, so do you like, like, uh, you like, t- uh, uh, um, do you like, uh, like, Chinese food? Or should I get, like, Domino's? What is happening? <laughs> What is going on? I don't know. You were just getting like really, really close. Uh, sorry. I think I misread some signals. Um, anyways. What? <laughs> What's happening? I, I, I don't know. I don't know about you just kept on getting really close to me. So I, I thought I would. Would you like me to be closer? I mean, I was just offering like dinner. Like if you wanted to stay for the evening. Cause anyways. Oh, you were talking to me? <laughs> No, I was talking to my fucking desk lamp. Like, what? What, what the? Stupid. What the fuck do you think? I'm leaving. Listen, I'm fucking stupid. I I'm, can't. I don't I'm know. the cringe. I'm oh the. Oh my cr- god! I'm fu- I I became the fumble. Oh, I am the I'm cringe. cringe. You asked me out like three different times to go out to dinner with you. <laughs> I'm the cringe. Oh my god! I'm crying. I'm actually crying. <laughs> I love you. I'm sorry. Yes. The answer is yes! I'll pay! I'll pay for us! Uh, um, I- Oh, the brain tumor. Yeah, that's a hundred out of a hundred for me. What's going on? Did I- Did I just cringe caught myself? That's incredible! I think you did. I'm so strong! I- I've truly mastered every art of cringe! I love that for you. Mm -hmm. I think that sometimes we can be a little cringe as VTubers. Mm -hmm. 
And I think there is lots and tons of room to be cringe tubers. And I think that it is a unmined cavern of content. Indeed. <laughs> also, I'm just glad you're not a serial killer. I'm glad you're just cringe online and not a serial killer. <laughs> Thank you. Um. <laughs> I love you. I am all of you Mwah. 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 Let's see. What is this one? Okay, so this would be my freshman year of college. I was still quite awkward at the time, and I was incredibly bad at reading social cues and talking to women. I was in marching band, and the marching band at my university did a parade the week before classes start uh -huh. every year. My freshman year, we did the parade. One of the older girls in my section came to us freshmen and asked what we would all do when we got back to campus. I looked her in the eyes and said, I'm gonna go back and masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that to someone? I, I don't, I can't say it. I can't say it. B -b 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 based. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> don't. This, we can't encourage this behavior. Dude, it's always the, I, it's always the band kids. <laughs> Always with the kids. It really is. Anyways, what the f actual fuck was I thinking? Anyway, my section in band holds a very special party oh, every I year. Oh, that was it. <laughs> Okay, okay. They hold a very special party every year called the Ves Festivus, which includes an airing of grievances portion, much like the Seinfeld holiday it's named after. Basically, we go around and say what pissed us off or we didn't like about the other people in the section. It's all in good, it's all in good health. Yeah, 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 yeah. I totally, it, it's like the, the anti-awards. Uh, yeah. We did shit like that at my high school too. It was fun. It was always just in oh. good spirits. It, it can get a little dicey sometimes. Anyways, it comes time <laughs> for one of the girls to air her grievances and she says, um, I, I only have one thing at the parade at the beginning of the year. No. And oh, I'm no. sure you can guess what she said. Of course, I hadn't completely forgotten about this and now had to be reminded of it in front of everyone. Most of them probably hadn't even heard it when it was originally said, so I was pretty fucking embarrassed to have that revealed to them. That same night, I went, I also met a really, really nice upperclassman who was living in the house where this gathering was hosted, and I was just a complete dick to him. I'd never, I'd literally never met him before, and due to unforeseen circumstances, was just a complete ass. Oh. L. Damn. Just that Damn. absolute fumble after fumble after fumble. We, I'm not taking you guys around the hose. <laughs> we can't. I'm sorry. You have to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That. Oh my god. And it seems like such a like popular party too. Like a very infamous sort of like you make it or break it during this party type of thing. Mm-hmm. That happens? Bro. Bro. See, I, I feel like maybe you could have gotten away with it if like maybe you just had like like a clown personality, but it just seems like she was a bit creeped out. L. Why would you say that though? Like why would you say that? I don't know. I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> See, it would be funny to the right people, mm -hmm. but that wasn't the right people. If anything, you're the one making plays here. Let's see. Shit, what do we, what do we think about that? I don't know. I, I, I it's like a fifty for me. Fifty yeah, for me. Yeah, it's like a fifty. Like a fifty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me find one we haven't read. Oh, okay. All right. For legal purposes, this is a fabrication. I got NTR'd on my high school crush by one of my friends in my friend group and everyone knew about it but me until years later, even though he told me about it that- At the time, I didn't believe him because he was known for being a big troll and brushed it off because I assumed she, crush, would tell me about it since we were so close. But she didn't and everyone tried dropping hints all the time about it, but I defended her since I never heard her side of it. Years later, life went on, and my best friend bought a house and invited me over. We had a long night, and he brought it up saying, you were just so happy not knowing. No one wanted to tell you straight to your face. It oh. hurt, but it had been a long, such a long time, it didn't hurt as much as it could have at the time. 
Bro, bro! Oh. Holy shit! Fuck. Oh my god. Okay, so so his friend did tell him. Now, hold on a minute. Okay, so they were never in a relationship. She didn't cheat on him. She didn't tell him that she was kind of doing something with his best friend, which isn't, you know, which isn't Oof. great, but maybe she just didn't... <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't know, man. As as someone who's, I just ugh. I died of cringe. Ugh. I, I, I don't. Died. I don't think. I, <laughs> it's it's the whole situation is painful. Everyone in the story is covered in thorns. It is a goddamn hedgehog's yeah. dilemma up in here, which in a way is beautiful. And for that, I give it like a ninety nine because it's beautiful. And oh man, it's definitely a ninety for me. This is. Oof. You I were mean. just so happy not knowing. No one wanted to tell you straight to your face. Oh, it's like an absolute gut punch. That's that's beautiful. That oh, hedgehog's dilemma. <laughs> You're so. <laughs> mm. Mm. She feeds on this, guys. Chef's this is kiss. a delicious dinner for her. Eat this is a five-course meal. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> not, not, this is a Man. 99 for me. Not a, not, a you. not a single person. Oof. It's just like a bit to them. You're suffering. Wow. <laughs> G give me a light one. G give me a palette cleanser. Light lighten it up a little. <laughs> um, I'm trying my best. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, here I go. <clears throat> as a little bit of context to this story, I b used to be huge into Bionicles as a kid and early hey! teen. Okay. I even had a YouTube channel where I'd make videos about my creations and whatnot. Aww, oh, so I, I love that. I'm harmless. I was in my sophomore year of high school, and this was in Spanish class, I believe. I also went to a small school since I lived in a small town. Literally graduated with like 22 people. Holy shit. You live oh, in like wow. a haystack. Yeah. You live in a hay barrel. A little, little baby oh, my. town. At this point in time, a few of my classmates had found out about my YouTube channel. Two girls who knew were sitting a few seats behind me during in class and were giggling about something and kept looking at me. At one point, I had asked what they were laughing about, and one of them says something about a fire sword while laughing. It was at this very oh, moment that I chose no. the path of violence. I then fucking yeeted a textbook at her, obviously because she was shocked at what just happened. Whoa, holy I shit! Really violence! They, they chose violence! I can't really remember the exact details about how it happened since this was a while ago, but I ended up getting sent to the principal's office. I explained what happened, and while not punishing me for what I did, he did tell me if I was bothered by them making fun of my YouTube so much, I should just delete the videos. Oh, oh that's exactly no. what I did. Oh, I fucking nuked no. the channel of all my Bionicle videos. Oh. I still use the channel as my main channel, but the Bionicle days are no more. In Junie's name, we cringe. A meep. A meep. No! Dude, this is fucked you up. Fucked up, man. Why do we do this shit to kids? Why, why do we Why do we snuff out the, the, the youthful bliss so early? Yeah, that's... On a side note, though, if I was making YouTube videos in school and my classmates found my YouTube channel, I would simply yeet myself. Yeah. Dude, this is rough. This is rough. This is dude. really rough. Man, this is, I think this. No one advocated for you, bro. That's a little messed dude, not, up. Not, not even a textbook. And not shit, even but... their teacher. Their teacher was like, their teacher was the... victim blamed them. Yeah, that's literally what happened. He didn't. Man, that's fucked up. Oh man, I I, I don't know. Uh, on a cringe ranking, like this score is pretty high because the classmates found the YouTube channel like a like a ninety yeah. at least. But on oh my top, God. on top of it, then they like deleted the channel. I got victim blamed by their principal. This this might be a one hundred for me. This yeah, this one's uh, this one's it. This one's it for me. <laughs> Teacher really said, "Be less cringe." <laughs> <laughs> Have you considered not being cringe? Could you consider yourself not being so bullyable, bro? Oh. No way. That's exactly what the teacher implied by saying that. I can't rest, help it. Feel... Rest in peace, Bionicle videos, Amy. Amy. Oh, all right. A uh, little little palate cleanser. A little bit of pickled ginger for you, ma'am. <laughs> 
Yeah, that one was spicy. Uh, for legal purposes, this is a fabrication. Heads up, this one's kind of gross. Sorry, the fickle ginger I just gave to you expired in 2012. Oh boy. <laughs> when I was 20, I went to a Toys R Us, RIP, but with my brother, and I was having a sudden Crohn's flare up, so I had to rush to the bathroom. Unfortunately, this particular bowel movement was, let's just say, loose, which resulted in getting, uh, in some getting on the floor between me lowering my pants and sitting down. I tried to clean it up, but only succeeded in smearing it around, so I eventually gave up and left the stall. As I was watching my, washing my hands, I see someone else walk in, and I I leave right as he walks into the stall and goes, oh my god! At which point I quickly walk up to my brother who is checking out and quietly say, we need to go. We got another, another shit bomber. <gasps> Ooh. Oof. Oof. I don't think it could have been much worse. Like, unless it was in front of like a hundred people, you know? That's true. It's just a person you'll never see again. Who cares, right? <laughs> I would care a little. <laughs> Are we approaching that time where we have to figure out who is the cringe lord? I think we should start s figuring out who is the cringe lord. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. The bionicle one hit me very, very deep. Uh, so I definitely want to at least mark that down. Yeah, I'm also thinking about the bionicle one. Yo, the fake NTR. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that one was that cringe. Yeah, well, me either. It, it kind of bummed me out. <laughs> it just, yeah, it just made me sad. The maidenless kneeler. Oh my god, oh, that one was yeah. really fucking good. If Fifteen times, 15 bro. People on bro, I know knee. he was only ten years old, but like. Hell, dude. Oh my god, the MRI story. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the cousin! <gasps> oh, yeah, that was pretty good. I really like the brain tumor one, and I really like the, uh, uh, the maidenless kneeler one. What about Paul Sharp Mall Cop? <laughs> Okay, that one I was pretty good. Yeah, I like Paul shitting, Shard Mall Cop. Shitting in a customer-only bathroom and being chased by security guards? That's pretty fucking good. So that's a good one. That's such a good story. Let's see. What is my chat leaning towards? Hmm. But is it cringe? Mm, that is the is question. But is it cringe? Cringe. Oh, okay. My chat's really advocating for the Bionicle one. I feel like that was kind of a given the moment we read that. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I think especially one, because it hits so close to home because we also you know are content creators that post shit online yeah that's true we we are in a way the bionicle we are the bionicle <laughs> that we wield you know in a way we are the bloodborne of the bionicle youtubers yes what, what do, do you think what think? do you think what do you think what, what do you guys think what does your we, chat think because the... i go i got my chat my chat's in all right, all right chat you and me which one do you guys think is the most cringe we've we've got to narrow it down let's do a poll okay i think the four that we're doing are are uh, the brain tumor guy, the maidenless kneeler, the bionicle YouTuber, and the cousin fucker. Not fucker. The bionicle. cousin didn't didn't fuck cousiner. Didn't cousin cousin. <laughs> the hair sniffer. That the one was pretty good. He really did just lean sniffer. right in and. I'm scared to call that guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna fucking sniff me. I bet your hair um, smells like blue raspberry jelly beans. Aww. No, I smell like a loading dock. <laughs> Hey, all right. Um, you should probably see your gynecologist. Oh my god! <laughs> My hair guess. sniffer won by a large margin on mine. Same here. It was like 190 versus 40. Yeah. Oh, no. Damn, I guess. Do I have a hat or something I could wear? Let's see. Um, let's let's find where hair sniffer is. <gasps> Wait. With. What? No, there's no way. There's no way. Reagan, did you fucking rig it? Rig? Oh, my God. What do you mean? My head mod was the hair sniffer. <laughs> No way. <gasps> there is no, no fucking way. You no didn't know it was them? There's no fucking way, Rick. <laughs> now this is some Discord mod activity. Rick, Get that man up here now. Rick, get your ass in here. Shit, how do we... <laughs> this is the biggest plot twist I've ever experienced in my life. My, my boy? Hi! <laughs> Maximus, how nice of you to hop on in. Please keep your nose at a nice 
distance uh, from us, please. Hello. Hello. Do you do you regret it, Snicker. Reagan? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you did you did you at least like glean any valuable lessons from this? No. Uh, no, probably <laughs> not. Other than don't sniff women on a bus. Yo, so you said this chick was like pretending to be asleep because like everybody was cuddling and she was feeling like FOMO. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she was a girl I had known since I was about five or six years old and had a little bit of a crush on, and... <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I do oh not... Oh my god. <laughs> Reagan, you fumbled! You just added another layer of cringe to it. How, do you, how do you keep managing to just absolutely <laughs> demolish all these entries? You're at the very top! <laughs> Reagan, you literally couldn't help himself! He just had to... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my chat's like, you already won, bro. You already won. <laughs> Not the childhood friend. You had history with her. All I can say is that we're all young and dumb at some points in our lives. No, that's and some true. of us that's are true. some of us are way dumber than others. <laughs> some oh. just give oh, in to their carnal instincts. Even my other mods are roasting you right now. How does it feel? How does it feel, <laughs> Reagan? How does it feel to be at the end of the knife, huh? I mean, you've been wanting your revenge for a long time, Juniper. Yeah, and now right. you have it. No, it's, I'm, 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 I'm soft, <laughs> really. I'm gonna let my chat take care of that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, I mean, did, did you ever like try to fix it? Or w was it just like, you can no longer speak to this person ever? Oh, we're fine now. It's oh, not a problem okay, now. Okay. Yeah, no, she, after graduation, she understood that it was an awkward teenage moment. And, you know, we, we talk from time to time still. Honestly, My butcher won't let it go. Honestly, if a guy I had a crush on pretended to sleep on me, I would absolutely also just... Why am I surrounded by sniffers? A head mod takes after his streamer. So, you know, that that probably goes hand in hand. What the <laughs> world, bro? How, how, how dare you? How dare you come on my stream <laughs> and bring up the sniffy thing? <laughs> Why are we all oh, justifying I, this? <laughs> I didn't even think of the sniffy thing. I was thinking about yeah, the yeah. foot emote, the sniff emote, that all was, that stuff. None of those were <laughs> me. None of, all, this, all this shit was voted on by you fucking freaks. I think because I am a moderator for mm -hmm. one of you two that you should probably call the person who came in second oh yeah have them come on as well because like oh so like oh, we're yeah. not rigging it <laughs> yeah we're yeah because i have a feeling juniper's chat once they got wind <laughs> probably <laughs> voted for reasons uh, really oh, oh so you're saying they bias for chat. juniper bias oh, chat shit. but Some like the like bow's chat also voted for you so Fair. I mean, it's it's the purity. It's, like it's the it's the purity. Oh, it's very simple, you know. These other ones, they kind of they had a lot of layers. There was also like some sad like discomfort, like like the brain tumor guy. But yours was simple. It was just a just a sniff of the hair. And it was one mistake. Mm, one mistake. Not ten, like the kneeler. Did, what was it? Was like sixteen. Sixteen mistakes. That's embarrassing, man. Hey, who was second place? Actually. Guy. Yeah, Bionicle Guy. Bionicle Is Bionicle Guy here? Here, let me uh go ahead and look him up and we can add him to it. Okay. Bionicle. Yo, thanks for dropping by, Reagan. No I problem. Say, even if you totally did not rig the vote. I, hey, no, 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 yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I didn't I rig the vote. Okay, the okay. I have sent the, <laughs> the friend request to Bionicle Guy. All right. Well, in that case, I will wish you two a good night. This Yo, is a lot have a of good fun. One. Have a good one. Best of yeah, luck. Yeah, Reagan. Bye-bye. No, bye -bye. no sniffler. No more sniffler. Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I want to meet Come the Bionicle. Up, Bonkle. 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 Hello, Bonkle, Bonkle. Guy. Hello. Hi. What? <laughs> wow. It's it's the man, the myth, the legend. He's, he's here in the flesh. How, how does it feel to be cringe? And free. Uh, feels relieving actually, because like yeah. this is like the first time I've really spoken about something like this to like a lot of people. Oh. Like I don't know. I've I, I've mentioned it's it like to a few friends before, but nothing than like I don't know. Dude, there's something. Yeah. It, there is something very like like exhilarating about sharing a deeply personal thing with thousands of people. <laughs> <laughs> For 
real. <laughs> it's like everyone bonds in suffering. We're trauma exactly. bonding. Exactly. <laughs> We're trauma bonding. Yeah. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Oh, are you still into Bionicle? Uh, no. No? Mm. Uh, see, I wasn't into Bionicle when I was a kid, but uh, Bionicle has kind of become like a thing in my friend group, and we like watch the Sneeple. movies and shit when mm. we meet each other. Why oh, no, it's hot. It's something that I like remember fondly. Mm. It's just not something I'm currently into. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. I get it. I get it. I got you. Especially after that incident. I, I don't blame you. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that, that was that was, that was was bad. That would forever leave a bad taste in my mouth. Holy shit. Mm. I have a question. I have a mm. question. Hmm. Would you throw another textbook? Absolutely. Mm. Based answer. Based. Based on textbook pilled. True, 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 true. But no, she wasn't the the person I threw it at wasn't hurt or anything. It just I didn't throw it very hard. I just kind of needed it. Bad, unfortunate. Yeah. yeah, dude, it's like a it's like a, a, a defensive reaction. I've thrown shit at people before. I've oh yeah, no, no, it's, it's reasonable. I've, well, yeah, like yeah. when I was a kid, I got in trouble and I was grounded for like two weeks because I threw a tinker toy at my brother. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Toy. Junie, please, for the love of God, ask Bionicle Guy if he remembers Bionicle YouTube, like NSSD oh. and Shadow. I need the copium. Yes, oh. dude. <gasps> dude, do you remember fucking Shadow Gear and like Callum or whatever his oh. name was? Fuck, dude, those were the days. God, oh I, I, I was a little, I, I wasn't into it that long ago. <laughs> dude, oh my, it was a whole rabbit hole. Oh, I imagine. It was a rabbit hole. I imagine. It has, like, it, there's deep, deep fucking lore. It's it, it's extremely niche. It was like my first like mm. online niche. Hey, that's cool. I love a mm. nice online niche. Evidently. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you say that? I don't, I don't, I don't uh, know. You know. Just, <laughs> I, I don't know. Just, uh, you know. You <laughs> know. Oh, in the Bionicle music videos somebody mentioned in chat. Oh my god, Bionicle Park, music bro. videos? <gasps> like the AMVs with Bionicles, dude. Dude, I bet there's so I many of them. So Wait, I have no. Oh, the fucking underwater ones. The trailer for those. That was like an official one. That wasn't like somebody made. It was like in the official like trailer. Bionicle. The fucking Evanescence one. Yes, yes, yes. Bionicle Boulevard of Broken Dream. This has three million views, by the way. <laughs> okay. Well, well, think about it this way. That happened so you could be here with us in this very moment. It's fate. I guess so. We are at the end of your boulevard of broken dreams. I like to tell myself that. <laughs> Gargoyles standing outside of hell, just welcoming you in with open arms. We're, we're like a we're like a two-headed Cerberus. Yeah. Yeah, just just one of the heads just barks over fucking Elden Ring voice actors. Don't do that. Don't do that. Your Twitter. No. Hey, at least you two might be bio <laughs> biologically <laughs> compatible <laughs> now. I thought if it learned, was one if, of yours. I thought it was if, one of yours. If I've learned one thing from this stream, is take people down with you wherever you can. Hell yeah, dude! Cutthroat! Damn! He's just too good at what he does! <laughs> By <laughs> this incident made you strong, son. Oh my god. <laughs> made you ruthless. You've got killer in your eyes. <laughs> He's hardened. He's a hardened war criminal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had some fucking bangers on that channel too. I literally. Oh no! Okay, I'm so, so glad you deleted them. That's fine. no, no, no. It's bangers really like in the cringe sense. Like I look back oh, and sure, like, man, sure. I wish I didn't delete that. I had, I had like this series of videos where it wasn't like a story time that I like. I didn't um, voice it or anything or animate it. I literally just had slides of text telling the story and made it. <gasps> I made it in like fucking Windows Movie Maker. I it, love was that it was about my bion. It was. It was about my Bionicle characters and their, like, their lore. I'm crying. That's so why, is, hard. why didn't you just write a fanfiction? I don't know. <laughs> he had the technology. He had to take it a step further. No, I, he became I, the it director. Was because, it was because of the music, right? You wanted to add music to set the tone, right? True. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, yeah I literally. I just wanted to tell the story about my freaking Bionicles, man. <laughs> I'm crying oh, for you. There's my articles. Like I would, I would like take pictures. It was like slideshows with the fucking pictures of like the ones that I made with like fucking Evanescence or like shit in the background. <laughs> I have someone in my chat 
Uh, uh, you totally don't have to, but this person says, I need to know Bionicle Guy's username for YouTube because I think I watched his vids when I was around that time on YouTube. Oh, by the way, you guys are gonna die when you hear the name because it is like peak, peak, oh my God, yes. like 2010, yes. to peak 2010, like yes. YouTube. It was, I, it was Night Shadow 697. <laughs> It's 97 coming at you it, live with another Bonkle video. It, I I don't go by that name anymore, and I refuse to I refuse to go by it. But <laughs> back in the day, that should be your business email. No, literally. Clearly, this man has tons of bitches. <laughs> That's really good. You know what? My um, I don't know if you were around earlier in the stream, but I talked a little bit how I used to uh, catfish girls on Club Penguin. Yeah, 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 on Club Penguin. Yeah. Yeah, the account that I used to do that was Night Fury something something. Oh Fox. no! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> furry, the furry that strikes at night. <laughs> I, oh, dude. Wait, okay. Wait, wait. Are you? Okay, wait, there was. Cap. You've s y have you watched this guy? No way. <gasps> what? Oh my god! You are so silly! No way! <laughs> Shit! Chad, are no you way! You used oh to watch god. Night Shadow 697. Wait, there's, no there's way. fans here, bro! Bro, bro no my way. fan club! Your fans are here! Lucarian? I had, like, what is Lucarian? I had a- uh, no, I had a fucking Bionicle that I made. It was a Lucario from Pokemon. Oh my god! <laughs> This is a, this I had is like incredible. I had I had a tutorial on how to make like a Halo 3 sniper rifle but out of bionicle pieces. <gasps> this makes everything worth it. This is so good. This is so juicy. Oh my god. How'd you guys how did you guys like how? fall down this rabbit hole from that rabbit hole and, and then showing up here? You know what I mean? This is so bizarre. Uh, I I love weird internet niches. What's happening, <laughs> no, bro? fucking dude, that's that's crazy. That's that is unreal. crazy to think about. There's so many people that are saying they've seen it before. I had like five thousand views on one of my vids. Oh, what? I I deleted it. It's gone. Also, another thing. Um, my name was totally like ripped off from somebody else that I used to watch. Who was a Transformer reviewer. His name was <laughs> Night Slash Twenty Twenty. I don't know why. But hearing that name uh, just reminds me of another cringe thing I did. Oh, so yeah? when I was like eight or eight or so, I like my first like video game I was huge into was Halo 2 on like the original Xbox. And don't laugh at me. I've already been laughing at him. <laughs> but no, um, no, you're fine. But um, I think there was a way you could like you just name the different accounts. So I just you can like custom customize your elites or your. Oh, yeah, or whatever. So I made like a yeah. blue. I made I made a blue and black one. Night Shadow or Night Night Slash 2020. <laughs> Just straight up his name, straight up the guy's name I, on Halo 2. <laughs> I knew you were gonna fucking say something like, and I named it like, like Godfucker Darkness. <laughs> no, 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 just Aww. straight up, just straight up that YouTuber's Aww. name. On... I wonder if they ever found out that you just yoinked. Well, now they might. I doubt it, but I, I, I really wonder how many people who went to my school are, are in are in chat right now. Probably, probably nobody. But it, that that's just a crazy thought to think. Like, what do you think the chances would be that like the person I threw the fucking book at? Is in chat? <laughs> Dude, I try my hardest not to think anyone about stuff have, like that. Anyone experienced a, a guy throwing a book at <gasps> him? Anyone? No. Somebody just DM'd me on Discord <gasps> a a video from one of my friends in that space, a birthday video for me. Whoa. Can we, oh, shit. Can we please show it? Can we please show it? Oh my can god. Can we please show um, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you upload it. This was, this is in 2010. This is fucking crazy to think about that all Isn't this shit's it? coming back. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. Uh, like obviously uh, I like yeah. part of me remembers it but like just seeing it like come like full circle it's mm. just crazy dude I'm, I'm I'm happy for you that's exciting that is super exciting okay okay let's go you me and this that fucking bionicle in between us <gasps> oh my god it's stop motion <laughs> oh it's okay. stop motion here it goes <gasps> here is your prize oh it's Shadows one two two three four presents Happy Birthday Night Shadow. Here's your present. <laughs> <laughs> I have the fruit. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> I have the fruit. You should all go to like. <laughs> 
part of me. Please! Like, oh, do you want me to drop drop the link? Present. You want me to drop no. the link in the stream? <sighs> Never. No, you don't have to. You no? don't have to. Oh, I, just, I was just. I mean, uh, if, mm. uh, this may take a few. Because I, I, I do not talk to this years. person at all. Oh, okay. Happy oh, birthday. yeah. No, it is. Night is this just some? Seven. Is this just some guy? <laughs> this is. Oh no, this was. This okay. is one of my friends in the space who okay, has like okay. kind of like. No, close I got with. you. I got you. The timing of it. Haha. -ha, I have the fruit. <laughs> this... So good. It warps my heart. It makes me so happy. This is the the point in YouTube I wish we could go back to. Dude, do you remember whenever you could have custom backgrounds? Yeah! And you could customize like the link colors and text colors of your YouTube channel? It was, it was like MySpace kind yeah, of. Yeah. You could really customize it and have like wallpaper and stuff. We gotta bring back the five stars. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, right, thank, thank you for you dropping Umbra. by Umbra. That, that, that was super, super interesting uh, <laughs> to see yeah, no problem. those connections sort of drawn uh, just from <sighs> random ass people in chat that's cool as mm -hmm. hell we're so like-minded we're all mm -hmm. wielding bonkles mm -hmm. you know bonkles of our souls mm, maybe all of us have a bonkle deep in our past so true so true mm -hmm. maybe the bonkles are the friends we made along the way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wise words so true it was the textbooks mm -hmm. that we threw <laughs> amy 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 all right take care um bro. Yo, yes. have a good you one. too bye. have a nice stream you too bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. Did we want to pick another one? Let's bring in, I guess, at least one more. Okay, people are saying bring in the kneeler. Bring in the kneeler. Yo, what is up? Oh, uh, hello. 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 Oh my god. I. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, t I, take I it just, easy. Well, anything, I want to say it's <laughs> like you both do great content. <laughs> I want to thank you for the content you do, your communities, and like this amazing opportunity. I've been up. It's like I had a. It's five a.m. in the morning right now. Oh, I, I, buddy! I, oh my I, gosh! I, it's it's completely fine. I'm just I I'm I, I don't know. I'm very emotional right now. No, it's it's cool, buddy. Oh uh, my dude, it's, god! <laughs> it's, it's also a lot of pressure to be in front of so many people. Uh, but hey, I know you. You're one of mine. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. You're a homie. Yeah. Yo, thank you. Thank <laughs> you am. for dropping by. Uh, <laughs> your story is fucking hilarious. This story <laughs> is absolutely so demolished good. me. You know, it just kept um, getting it's, worse and worse. It, no, but guess what happened five years later? What? What? <gasps> what? I got a date with a girl. Yo! Let's go! <laughs> Recovered. Recovered fumble. <laughs> oh, it was on the beach as well. It was so calm. On Aww, the beach, dude. That, beach. That's fucking awesome. Like, uh, a lot of people like do like movie theater dates. Those are the worst. Those don't. Those, those are, are the, the worst. worst. A beach though, that's really good. Uh, I thought learned. I thought I would at least uh, impasse. This is an embarrassing. But when I was in elementary school, I had a in air quote secret admirer from another classroom. I, I knew who he was. Uh, but like on Valentine's Day, uh, he got me like a like a chocolate rose so i was like tinfoil wrapped and, and like a stuffed unicorn and it was really really cute but like one of the teachers had to make a big show of taking it into the classroom and being like it's from your secret admirer <laughs> like oh while God. everybody was it was so embarrassing <laughs> wow now stuff like that never happened at my school i went to an all boys school oh yeah nice. a lot of uh, at one point like there was nothing but, like just a lot of boys being boys at one point before I like final exams. Nothing but chaos. Wall balloons were being thrown. Just Dude, that sounds awesome. Scuffles. It, that sounds super awesome. Someone was thrown into the ceiling. The ceiling? Dude, yeah, I yeah, it was thrown. Um, I don't know why they did it, but they threw him in the ceiling. I think, I think, okay, so did your guys' at schools ever do like senior pranks? Oh, yeah, ton. Yeah, okay, so mine, uh, uh, yeah. mine were uh, really, really bad. One of them was super destructive and it costed like a bunch of money, but uh, I think oh. one of them was they like inflated a bunch of condoms with helium and just like released them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did it cost oh, money? God. Oh, it, it's just like I I don't really want to like dox what high school I went to. It, it was uh, a not not funny prank. It was very stupid. Actually, hold on, this might have been a middle school. Now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't matter. Oh no no no! Wait. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'm trying to think. Mm -hmm. Uh, my school just flooded every single hallway with yeah, 
they did the balloons thing. They flooded all the hallways with balloons. And that's all I can think of. I think that one's fairly harmless. Just pop them, scoop them up into a dustpan. Bada bing, yeah. bada boom. I heard there was a school. My I remember watching like a like a high school prank TV show or something. I don't know, some like weird shit, but like someone bought like thousands of crickets and released it into their high school no no oh. no there's no getting rid of that oh, that's, that's permanent <laughs> you yep. will never ever get rid of those it's like yep. it's like dumping glitter on a, a, a wool carpet dude and cockroaches smell so ass oh <sighs> cockroaches i'm oh. sorry crickets yo do you uh My you're school. you were up until like 5 a.m today which is super super crazy again i'm so yeah, sorry crap. so Thank sorry to my hanging on for so long aren't you glad you did though or do you have anything I am, coming I... up are you gonna be able to get in some sleep oh yeah no I, the only thing i have is um a bar Basketball trial next Tuesday, um, so I'm good. Yo, happy weekend! Can I, probably. Thank you. Can I make a request of you two? Yeah, what's sure. up? Um, I am a Connect Four veteran on the Connect Four <gasps> Crusade to play Wait. any and all VTubers, and I would be honored if I could play both of you. Wait, I remember this. I remember, you're the Connect Four really? guy. Holy shit! I'm sorry, I totally forgot about this. I remember people like. Is this one yours? <laughs> yeah, this is the <laughs> one of mine. <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah, let's make an X4 sometime. I love it when we say oh, that. Is this one uh, yours? It's like our babies. Yes, <laughs> it's like our kids. Is this one <laughs> yours? No, no, I think it's mine. <laughs> we have too many, too many tap babies. Yeah, oh, oh that's God. a deep cut. Uh, that was from uh, a super long time ago. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just uh, DM me when you, uh, when it is yeah, a I got, better I got, hour. I can put a link in the thing. Okay. Um, who should I play first? Oh, right now! Oh, yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it, oh, yeah. I can, I got right, it's up right now. I've had, like, so many games of this in my uh, crusade. All right, let's fucking go. Posted. This is actually, like, ironically, the reason I got into VTube in Connect 4. What? The Connect 4 <gasps> pipeline? Really? <laughs> Bionicle Connect 4 to VTuber pipeline. <laughs> Well, it? it's, it is a crazy... Well, I was just playing on my own before the VTuber days. And then I, I couldn't remember everyone I'd played because I had to keep track of my record because I was doing pretty well. Uh -huh. But I couldn't remember the VTubers. And it just spiraled. And I was a VTuber and I was playing other VTubers at Connect4. There was one there was one opponent I craved to play who like was a big part of it because it started in the Milklands. It actually started <gasps> oh, yeah? in Danny's server, my crusade. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, okay. That man, Danny. Danny's so I cool. I, I pay he him is, I pay him so money cool. to edit clips now. <laughs> I won! Oh no! Yeah, let's get it! Let's I was beaten by Bow at Connect shit. 4. I'm, I'm gonna show you my big brain plays. I'm gonna put you in I a corner. Biggest bull. <laughs> They're gonna put me in a corner. Yeah, fucking ads. Okay, let's go! Oh, oh my god, it's Giant. I All right. Hey, this here, watch, watch this fucking colossal brain play I'm about to pull on you. Well, Look, Juniper's about I am to the flex world's on first him. and only Connect Four veteran. Hey, How would Wexler put me on this crusade? Bro, she is thinking. She hmm. is. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't play Connect Four. I don't know what the strats are because, like, I know the tic tac toe thing that it's like an instant win, but <laughs> Connect Four? I don't know, man. Bro, I'm this little, is Connect uh... Sixty Four X Sixty Four. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my it's brain, like my brain is so massive, I can't even hold my head up. Here, watch this, watch this fucking giant brain play I'm about to pull. I have no idea what she's talking about, your honor. Ha, beat, beat that. Look how many biggest board that is. <laughs> what does this mean? This is the biggest board and we're in the corner. She blocked me. Someone said you just threw the game. <laughs> <laughs> me? No, I, yeah. No, I didn't. I, no, she didn't. No, Pat. I. No, I didn't. <laughs> the hamster in my brain is sprinting very, very quickly right now. Yes, the rat controlling me from underneath this bow tie is is mm. definitely yoinking me in this direction. Mm, 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 my brain is so huge. Watch this. Oh, I've been blocked again and ah. again. Well, this is like that time I knelt in front of a girl and got blocked fifteen times. <laughs> been long enough to make that joke it's been 10 years <laughs> <laughs> i think 10 years is long enough yeah not? but i'm really quick at the bomb there's a time oh, okay, i've spent okay, okay. 50 seconds you've spent three times longer making moves <laughs> in my head <laughs> she's 
just a bug, Your Honor. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hey, did Ooh. you did you throw? Oh no! Yeah. Are you really a Connect Four player? I actually completely missed this it. This is ominous. I'm a veteran. <laughs> I'm a veteran. I lose, but I will play again. That's what it's all mm -hmm. about, baby. Mm -hmm. Meet new people, playing Connect Four. Uh <laughs> I will play the next day. Uh, I'll, I'll never. That's what sets me apart as a veteran. You back to bed, Grandpa. I'll never forget the day our swords <laughs> crossed. Yeah, in in its defense, it is like I'll it's, never fi it's five a.m. I also woke up early, like <laughs> so we're not exactly. I actually should start my peak. day. Oh. It's just bright outside. Are you? It was are dark, you a, and now I can see the sun. You a coffee drinker? Oh. No, my no? I, I okay. do not drink okay. coffee. I actually feel perfectly fine. Hey, nice. He's gonna stand up and just fall the fuck over. <laughs> um, thank you, girls, for this like incredible, incredible opportunity. Yeah, I never thought this day would actually come. Aw, uh, no problem. And thanks for being so cringe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, thanks I, again, yo. Mm. Everyone, shout out to these two, everyone. Thank Aww. you. Bye. Uh, thank you. I hope you have a good one. Take you care, too. Kimono Take gamer. Care. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, oh no. And then beautiful. it was just us. Wow, beautiful. that was a fun stream. A yeah, I think so too. Okay, Miss Juniper, I'm gonna let you skedaddle on <gasps> now. Thank you so much for coming again. Yeah, thank you, Mel. This was very fun. Also, thank you, chat. Thank it was you. very, very fun. Thank you, chat. Thank you for your entries. If you haven't gotten yours in, you'll get them in next time. Take care, everybody. Yo. Good night. Good night. Good night.